Boston, one of the oldest cities in America, has a rich brewing tradition. And it has a rich and old brewing tradition because of its old, rich brewing tradition. Uh. One more. Try to just I don't want to do another one. Just try to pull yourself together. No. Come on, get just one more. Real quick. Come on. I don't want to do another one. Come on. Come on. Come on. Just, just one more. Come on. Let's. No. Don't. Don't cry, dude. <laughs> it's not your fault. I know it's not my fault. It's not your fault. <laughs> not you, Roberto. We didn't know we couldn't use green screen. Okay. <laughs> the comments were so mean. I know. It's not your fault. It's okay. They they didn't mean it. It's okay. It's okay. I love you, man. I love you, too. Let's do one more take. <laughs> oh, God. If you hear Boston and you don't think beer, you're doing it wrong. With over 30 craft breweries in the city, it's hard not to find great suds. So here are our top five crafties in Beantown. First up is Trillium, which sounds like something out of Star Trek, mainly because their beer is out of this world. Well, at least they were voted the third best brewery in our world. That's true. So deal with it. Next, we ditch downtown and hit up Somerville Brewing. This more bare-bones, rustic warehouse is home to some of the most stranger brews in the country, like passion fruit sour ale, or even their hard root beer float for the alcoholic child in you. Next stop was Aeronaut. Besides a robust menu of fine American beers, Aeronaut hosts some amazing events. From live music to trivia nights to even poetry slams, you can fill up on entertainment as well as fantastic beer at this mecca suds. Flowing right along is Lamplighter out in Cambridge, where the smart kids like to put a few back. They use Bretonomyces yeast, which is a special strain that makes them truly one-of-a-kind beers. Adding good music, great crowd, and a beautiful space, and this place is a winner. Our last stop, the Big Daddy, Harpoon. Harpoon has been cranking out craft beer since 1986 and was the first craft brewery in Massachusetts. They also have a great menu for nibbles and beer snacks, and of course, you can take a tour to see how your favorite golden juice is made. I think it's a mannequin. It's a human. Harpoon had almost an inexhaustible list to go through. I'll have one of each. You want to try them all? Let's do that. Yeah. Yeah. It's a great space to come and sample some of their classics or go wild with their weird stuff like Limey Vice, Sour Juicer, or Nana's Nightcap. Oh yeah! It's beer paradise. Well, for some. Hey there. <laughs> Sorry. Hey guys, we sure hope that you had a good time following us around. Definitely check out one of our other videos. They're all weird and wild. If you have any comments, keep them to your goddamn self. Whoa, now! <laughs> Put them down below. <laughs> and also, make sure to like and subscribe.